Do you want to have more of your target audience start the communication process with you to ultimately become a lead and then be able to convert them into lifelong customers and clients? If you want that, then you want to pay attention to this video because I'm going to be sharing with you the three core dials, the only three core ones that you must do in order to increase and skyrocket the amount of target audience that starts that communication process with your company and also be able to convert them into high quality leads. Now YouTube community, you know what you should do. Comment below, let me know what's one insight or question that you have on how to get your target audience to start that communication process with you to become a lead so that ultimately later on when it's the right time and when you're able to use this process, they'll become a lifelong customer or client in your business. So I want you to do is comment below, let me know. And also if you stay until the end of this video, I'll give you a full step-by-step -step walkthrough on benson.com on how to be able to implement this into your business, whether that's you or your team, to effectively have this as a process in your business that's working for you instead of against you. The first core dial that we want to focus on to be able to increase the conversions of the amount of leads that you're generating or having your target audience start that communication process with you is the traffic sources. Your target audience is the foundation of everything. If you're spending paid ads on LinkedIn, on YouTube, on Facebook, it doesn't matter what platform, what we want to look at is the audience that you're targeting. Who is the audience that you're targeting? That's the first core dial. The second thing is you wanna focus on the creative. What is the creative that you're showing to your target audience? When they scroll down on Facebook, when they scroll down on LinkedIn, whatever it is that it is, when they watch a video on YouTube, what is that content? What is that creative? How are you communicating with them? What are you getting them to do? What are the values that you're associating with them? That's the second core thing. The third thing is how is the copy on the post? Look at the copy on this post. If you look above this post right here on LinkedIn or on YouTube below, on Facebook as well above, you can see the copy is demonstrating different types is built natively to that platform. What I mean is that on Facebook, I share a specific story related to this specific post. The same thing on LinkedIn, I keep it more short, more impactful. And at the same time on YouTube, a lot of it is just me talking to the actual video. That's the creative itself. So how are you communicating with it? What's the verbal or written copywriting that you're using? So those are the three things that you always wanna pay attention to on the traffic side. The audience that you're going for, the specific creative or the asset that you have in talking with them, the copywriting, and essentially all these three things that you wanna to use to be able to communicate with your target audience. The second core dial that we wanna focus on optimizing is whatever page or asset that they're seeing. So for example, when you're generating leads when you want your target audience to start their communication with you, they have to have a way to enter their name or their email or click on that messenger button on Facebook or be able to send a text to you on via texting. And that's the one thing that you wanna keep in mind. What is the asset that you're offering to them? How are they gonna start the communication process with you? Have you made it easy for them? Or have you made it challenging for them? How are you positioning the offer for them to start the communication process with you? Are you giving them a lead magnet like hundreds of other companies around the world, white papers and eBooks? Or are you creating something that's a unique asset related to your business that clearly demonstrates the problem that you're solving for your target audience? or the result that you're helping them achieve. How are you focusing on this? What does the process look like? That's what you wanna focus on. What is the asset that you're giving them? What is the offer? How you're wrapping it up together to demonstrate that with them? And for example, what is the process that it looks like when they get and start the communication process with you? Are they using a landing page? What is the design of the landing page? Or are you using LinkedIn lead gen forms that's native to the platform or Facebook lead ads? Whatever it is, you wanna make sure that the copywriting on these are extremely compelling you wanna make sure that it's very to the point, it's very emotional, and it's very influencing on that specific person when they're reading it. It's something that they want. So you wanna continuously optimize these four to five core criterias and dials for specifically how to convert them into an actual target audience and start the communication with them. The third most important dial that you wanna have is after they say that, hey, I wanna start communicating with you, I wanna get that asset, what does the communication process look like? through your marketing automation platform of using ActiveCampaign and Infusionsoft, through your messenger platform using Minichat, for example, or through the texting platform through Yeti Text or through Fixer Funnel, all of those three things, how are you communicating with your target audience? The sequences that they see, the emails that they receive, the messages that they get, the text, what is your multi-step communication process? You wanna look at the click-through rate, you wanna look at the messaging sequence, what you're saying to them, how you're saying it, what are the assets that you're sending. Those are the things that you wanna focus on because that is the indoctrination, the communication process is vital. After they raise their hand, they start the communication process with you. What does that communication process look like? So that you can be able to get them to communicate and ultimately become a lifelong customer or client in your business. When it comes time for them to buy your product or your service, that's the most important thing. You wanna focus on the click-through rate, the open rate. What does the sequence look like? How are you structuring your multi-step communication process? Because as you know, 
email is now becoming one of the weakest and worst ways to communicate with any target audience. Because emails is getting emails on their platforms are now having multiple different tabs. If you're using Gmail like I am, promotions tab, people, it's not even about the open rate, click through rate of the emails. It's about whether or not your target audience is even seeing your emails. They're being bombarded with a ton of communicational messages. That's why you wanna make sure it's short, it's compelling, it's to the point. You're reaching to the core of your target audience, you're solving a problem for them and you're helping them achieve a result. So those are the dials you wanna focus on after they raise their hand and start the communication process with you. YouTube community, I appreciate your time for watching this. I want you to comment below and let me know what's one insight or one question that you have that you gained from watching this video. Second thing I want you to do is like this video, make sure you got value from this content. The third thing is make sure I want you to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to get future updates on videos just like this dedicated to helping you grow your business online. And let me know, do you guys like the shorter format? Are you guys getting more value from it? It's saving you guys time, it saves me time as well, but at the same time, we'll make sure that the value gets across to you. So let me know. That's the most important thing, and as promised, I want you to go on Petson.com to get the full walkthrough step-by-step -step post on how to actually implement this into your business, and then you'll get even more value from this when you actually execute or have your team implement. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.